Giorgio Armani is one of the most prestigious brands in fashion. The brand produces lines all the way from Armani Privé at the couture level all the way down to Armani jeans. Giorgio Armani is high-end ready-to-wear and Collezione is ready-to-wear, slightly less expensive than Armani. Giorgio Armani himself was born outside of Milan in 1934 and the company remains based in Milan. He studied medicine, but never really worked in medicine, and instead found a job at La Rinascente, the most important fashion store in Italy in 1957, where he did visual merchandising and was a buyer for the store. And he caught the eye of a menswear manufacturer, Nino Ceruti, who hired him to design a wholesale menswear line called Hitman, where he stayed for eight years. An important milestone in Armani's career was the 1980 film American Gigolo, in which Richard Gere had an Armani wardrobe that received almost as much attention as the film itself. It really put Armani on the map and made him into a household name. Concurrent with the film, Armani's designs were featured in boutiques like Barney's and also high-end department stores like Saks. So people that had loved Richard Gere's clothes in the film could go and buy Armani clothes themselves. In fact, Armani opened an office in Los Angeles to be closer to Hollywood clients, and his suits in particular were really favored by men and women in the creative industries. The distinguishing feature of Armani clothes, and Armani suits in particular, is that it's a relaxed tailoring. He actually figured out different ways of doing things. He took away a lot of the understructure of men's tailoring to make the suits softer, make them more body conscious. Characters on the 1980s TV series Miami Vice also wore a lot of Armani. Armani jeans flourished as part of the whole designer jean culture and fragrances and eyewear were introduced, both of which have been very important to the brand. Giorgio Armani has also done many other things, including designed soccer uniforms and flight attendants' uniforms for Alitalia. What distinguishes Giorgio Armani's designs, in addition to the relaxed tailoring, is a unique color palette. He uses a lot of really interesting neutrals, kind of mushroomy grays and navy blues that are so dark they're almost black. Never anything harsh, but always very subtle and kind of mysterious colors. People say that once you wear Armani, everything else seems uncomfortable.